Hey all, my name is Paul Borowski and I am the owner of Quality Business Plan and what I'd like to do is give you all a part two of my series which is how to create financial projections using using Excel. And for this part two what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and blow up our base that we created in part one and we're going to um, project that into a five year annual profit and loss statement. And so what we've got, so what we're building off of is our previous financial model that we built in the first video and if y'all don't have this model then you can go to this uh, YouTube website right here and I do walk you through how to do this model step by step to create the 12 month profit and loss statement. If y'all don't have time or you don't want to go ahead and build this financial model yourself then what you can do is you can visit my website qualitybusinessplan.com uh, forward slash financial projection template and what you can do is you can go to that link and then once you click on that link, you can go ahead and download and purchase my um, this template that's already created. All right, so with, that's, um, with that taken care of, let's go ahead and let's real quick review what our base looks like. So our base starts with our daily sales, and then what we've done is we've gone ahead and created our monthly labor, um, our monthly labor projections right here, or right here, hours, actually this is our um, daily hour projection. And then what we've done is we've got our monthly information right here for our fixed cost. And then what we've done is we've taken all that information and we plugged it into our 12-month um, profit and loss statement, which calculates the revenues, material cost, salary, labor, fixed cost, and so on and so forth until we have a monthly um, profit and loss projection. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take all this gobbledygook, all, all this financial model, and we're going to take it one step further. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and build a pro forma income statement for five years. All pro forma means, that just means that it's a projection. So you can call it financial projection, you can call it pro forma, but if you call it pro forma, it sounds a little bit snazzy and you know, a little bit more professional. So run with pro forma. So the first thing what we're going to do to build up, um, build this um, five-year financial model is we're going to go ahead and put our label here, which is going to be pro forma income statement. And then we'll put a dash, we'll call it five years, but bam Next thing we're going to do is we're going to move over um, one tab. We're going to go to our C46. And on C46, we're going to go ahead and type in growth. Next thing we want is a year one tab and then a year two. Hit enter. And then what we want to do is we want to highlight year one and year two. Go to the bottom right hand corner and we're going to drag it over to what it says year five. So now we've got our top columns headers taken care of. So now we're going to go back up to our, um, our chart header and we're going to um, highlight the B45 and we're going to drag it over. Oh, Instead of dragging it over, we're just going to highlight. So we're just going to highlight the cells from B45 to H45 and then we're going to go up top and we're going to click on Merge and Center. Then we're going to click on Bold and then we're going to turn this a, you know, let's, let's go light blue. Uh, blue is my favorite color, so we'll go with it. All right, so we're done with that. So we've got our um, title for the chart, and we've got each column header taken care of. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to go over here to our 12-month profit and loss statement, 12-month um, month budget, and we're going to highlight revenues all the way down to profit and loss. Hit Control-C, which is a copy. Then we're going to go to B47, hit control V and we're going to paste that information and then we're going to extend this a little bit just to, um, so we can reach, read each one of these columns. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and now come up with some growth estimates. So year over year what do we think our revenues are going to grow by? So for this example we're going to put five and we're going to go percent and then we have to come up with a projection. What do we think our material, how much are our material costs going to grow? So we can, we're going to go ahead and we're going to say our material costs are going to grow by 1%. And then we're going to go by salary. And so for the salary, we're going to say that salary is going to grow 1% as well. And then we're going to go ahead and go for labor. And we're going to say our labor is going to grow by 1%. And then we're going to say our fixed costs are going to grow by 1%. <clears throat> so now we've got our growth estimates. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to finish up these um, column headers. And so we're going to highlight all of the column headers. We're going to center them. And then we're going to go ahead and go bold. 
All right, and the next thing we're going to do here is we're going to go ahead and do our projections for our revenues. And our revenues, the way we're going to do our revenues is we are going to first sum up, type in sum, open up a parenthesis, and we're going to highlight our revenues from month one to month 12. Once we're done with that, we're going to hit a close parenthesis, hit enter, and now we've got our um, revenues for one year. It's going to do the same thing for material cost. Type in sum, open up a parenthesis, and we're going to highlight all our material costs, close parenthesis, and we're going to do that for the rest of um, salary, labor, and fixed cost. Or you can highlight everything and drag them down. That works too. And just to verify, then our fixed cost right here, fixed cost, everything's highlighted, we're golden. All right. Next step, what we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and type in, we're going to figure out our profit and loss for the first year. So we're going to type in an equal sign, click on revenues, then hit a subtraction sign, and back out our material cost, hit a subtraction sign again, back out our salary, subtraction sign again, back out our labor, subtraction sign again, back out our fixed cost. What this leaves us here is a profit um, of $332,011.59 for the first year. Next thing we're going to do is we're now going to go ahead and we're going to do our projections for revenues. And the way we're going to do this is we're going to click the first year revenues. We're going to hit a multiplication sign, open up a parenthesis, type in one plus, and then click on our growth rate, close parenthesis, and hit enter. We are then going to do the same thing again. I'm going to hit the equal sign, click on year two revenues, multiplication sign, open up a parenthesis, one plus, and then click on our growth rate again and hit enter. We're going to do this again, equal sign, and we're going to hit, click on our growth rate, and we're going to hit our multiplication sign, open up parenthesis, one plus, and click on our growth rate again. Close parenthesis, hit enter, and we're going to play the game one more time. We're going to hit the equal sign, year four, revenues, multiplication sign, open up a parenthesis, one plus, click on the five-year growth, and close the parenthesis, and hit enter. Now, we've got a couple of different options with the way we can set this up for material costs. We can go ahead, we can grow the material costs at 1% um, if, we think our manage, if we think the price of our material costs are going to go down. However, we can also do it by clicking on the um, revenues and multiplying the revenues by our common size, which is right here, of 50% of revenues. So what this will do is this shows that we think our material costs are going to stay the same as of revenues. And so our material costs are going to be 50% of revenues, which is our common size right here that we discussed in the first video. Or you can go ahead and take the um, same approach, which is going to be that you're going to have the revenues here, or your um, your material costs, and you're going to multiply that by, open up parenthesis, one plus, and we're going to do it by the 1% material growth. You can do that if you think you're going to, when your growth go, um, goes on, you're going to be able to get a lower, a better deal for your raw material um, based on, you know, economies and scale, and, and so on and so forth. So you can do other, other method, and it's going to be, um, work just fine. For my particular situation here, what I want to do is I'm going to go with uh, 1%, and because and I, I think, you know, I'm, I got confidence in the management team that they're going to do a great job um, for that. So now what we're going to do here is we're going to highlight years 2 through 5, and we're going to drop that down. We're going to grab um, on the bottom right-hand corner where you see oh, the the cross right here, the um, cross for the mouse, it's, uh, it's a clear color or white. And then we're going to go and um, highlight the bottom right-hand corner of years two through five, and it's gonna turn black. And then we're gonna drag it down, and that should pull down, that should pull down all the formulas, and it did. Just verify it again, that we're taking the year two, multiplying it by the growth rate, and so all that looks good. Next step, what we're going to do is we're going to drag across our profit and loss that we calculated right here. Oops. We're going to drag it across right here. And so now we're going to verify the formula, go up here. And this shows that um, all of these right here, this right here is um, starting point, and then everything subtracted from it. 
All right, so we're um, making some good progress here. All right, next step is going to be that we're going to highlight our year one revenues all the way down to our year five profit and loss. And we're going to go up to the top of our, um, of our top of the spreadsheet here. And we're going to click on this little comma right here. That little comma is going to get rid of all the dollar signs. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to go right here to um, this decrease decimal section. And we're going to click this twice. So now we get rid of the decimals. So now we've got a nice, um, we're, we're getting there to a nice clean profit and loss statement. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to highlight from growth all the way over. And we're going to go up to our section right here where it gives us our boxes and borders. And we're going to go down to where it says double, um, bo bottom double bear, um, bottom double border. And we're going to click on that. And we got our double lines. Then we're going to go ahead and we're going to click on the whole kit and caboodle, highlight the pro forma income statement, go up here. We're going to give it a nice thick box. We're going to do the same thing again. We're going to just highlight the title pro forma income statement. We're going to give it a box. And then we're going to go over here to this, the first column, highlight B46 all the way down. And we're going to give it a box. And so now it's starting to look pretty, um, pretty professional. And the last step, we're going to give this a box right here. So column headers are going to get their own box. And then we're going to go to the profit and loss statement. And we're going to go ahead and give this a color. I like the um, gray for my profit and loss. And so now what we have here is we have our updated um, profit and loss statement based on our 12-month projections. And in the next video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you all how to go ahead and put some charts and some graphs um, to make this information um, pop and, and look a little um, a little bit better. So hopefully this video was helpful. And like I said, if you all want to go ahead and purchase the completed video, um, the completed template, which is going to include the, the base right here from the previous video, as well as a pro forma income statement, then just go ahead and visit my website at qualitybusinessplan.com forward slash financial projection template and you can go ahead and purchase it. And um, ho hopefully this was helpful. If you all need some help writing a business plan, I've got some books published, How to Write a Business Plan in 10 Steps. Or you can contact me at qualitybusinessplan.com. The phone number is right here. If you all are starting a restaurant, I've got a restaurant book published on How to Write a Business Plan. You all just start in a business. I've got a good book for that. And then if you all want to raise funds for a small business, I've published a book on that as well. All books can be published. I'm found on Amazon.com. And hopefully this video was helpful and you all um, need some assistance with a business plan or financial projections. Uh, please don't be a stranger and give me a shout. All right, thank you.